baseball fans and welcome interleague baseball on MLB the show it's the Houston Astros and the Chicago Cubs all right we'll be back to get this one started after this so almost ready to get underway and today's starter Justin Steele how about a report on him Chris well, that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand. And because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone for a strike, hitters commit to that pitch. And before they know it, they're swinging over the top of that curveball. Leading off, and now for Jose Houston, Altuve. The second base. Jose Altuve. The lefty fires. Out to short, Swanson. Gets it to first, and they get Altuve for the out. Okay, let's check out the lineup. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives, you know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit oh, velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating. You just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and a guy is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. On the ground, and that's, that's just foul. One out, base is empty. That's hard hit on the line. Half snags it for the second out. Hey man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton stepping in the long ball threat. You're Don Alvarez. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Steel, 28 years old. And he was a fifth round pick back in 2014. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Two out spaces empty. To the right side, and that's a base hit. That is good. The first base. Jose Abreu up to hit. That one fouled off. Abreu, a member of the 1,000 hit club, and he's a former rookie of the year. With the go ahead run at first, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Makes the grab, and that is that. One hit, one left. And now it'll be the Cubs' turn in a scoreless ball game. Back here at Wrigley Field, and towing the slab in this one, Justin Verlander. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Here's Nico Horner. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Swing and a foul straight back. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Fouled off. He was late. When you look at the elite teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug. No question about it. But the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact, with less swingingness. And no one can get there. Safe at second with a leadoff double. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where he could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. Dansby Swanson stands in. 
Hard grounder into the outfield for a now. Coming home. He scores and they have the lead. Run nothing. His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. In half up to hit. The half daddy. And that one hit to first. Into the outfield base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Batting four. Four. Bellinger up to hit. Cody. Bellinger. That one ripped. In one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. One run is in. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. And now the right fielder, Seiya Suzuki. And that one fouled off. On third, Bellinger. That's second with nobody out. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Out to short. Over to Abreu. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Christopher Morrell, the next cup to hit. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor oh leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Corrals it, and there's two down. Time now for the Chicago Cubs lineup. A tough challenge in this one. An excellent arm on the mound. Singy, they're going to have to capitalize on their opportunities. Yeah, and they're not going to get a whole lot if he pitches the way that he's capable of pitching. So, you know, be ready to swing from the first pitch. You get something straight, man, you better turn on it. Ground ball right That's side, foul. and it goes just foul. Runner at second, two down. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. The hitter early and off balance on that swing. If I'm the pitcher, I'm taking a little bit more off. See if you can get him to chase something in the dirt. Only two now. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Back there. And in one hops the wall. One comes in for second, and they lead by four. And he's got a double. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Put a really beautiful swing on that pitch right there. Just didn't quite have the combination of launch angle and exit velocity to drive it over the wall. But when you can beat a center fielder like that, you know you hit it well. And it's scored position with two away. Now a chance for Michael Bush. Yeah. And he swings and misses at the initial no offering. One. Well, a really rough inning out there on the mound. And uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and keep pressing forward. The 0-2. And he hits a ground ball right side. Slings to first. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeding. So it's four runs, five hits, no errors, and one left. Second inning coming up here at Wrigley. It's the Cubs four and the Astros nothing. Here at Wrigley Field, all set for the start of the inning. Here's Kyle Tucker. The Strohs in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. 
Tucker who's been an all star and a gold glover. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Yeah. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Time Good to check on our umpires. Right. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well liked umpire, boo. Pretty consistent with his zone, so if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one away. Gosh, here it is. Hit it. Three pitch strikeout. All fastballs. Man, he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now. Gainer Diaz will hit next. This one in the air. Swanson settles underneath it. Nabs it. Out number two. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty that's good that's timing that. on it. Just so got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Chaz. And next to hit for Houston, Chaz McCormick. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. He's got it. And that is out number three. Back here at the friendly confines. Here's Nick Madrigal. The third base here. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Verlander, a multi Cy Young Award winner. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, a curve, and he works in a changeup. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. Kicks and fires. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Man, how many times do you see three fastballs in it at bat like that? I'm sure once he got to two strikes, he was trying to stay back for something off speed and just not ready for that third fastball. And he grounds one to the right side. Abreu takes it himself. Two up, two down. The batter number seven. Shortstop, Gansby. Here's the shortstop at the play. Dansby Swanson singled and scored his first time. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Bottom half of inning number two. Yeah. Late that time, and it's strike two. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Left field. McCormick has it sized up. Slams into the wall and hangs on. And we're back. We Top go, half go, of the go. third inning. And the batter will be the shortstop. Jeremy, Jeremy Pena. Pena. As the lefty gets to work. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these Astros definitely being aggressive at the plate, but I think it's fair to wonder if they're being a little over-aggressive. The numbers tell us they're swinging at the first pitch more than 90% of the time, and that's an extremely high number, especially when you're not getting results, Boo. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And now the center fielder, Jake Myers. Swing and a miss, and that is strike one. Oh the 0 1. Hey. Swings through that high fastball. When the leadoff man gets on, oh, you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully, the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. 
The Astros down by four. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now one away. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, oh, all good. strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter, other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. Altuve yeah. swings through that one as no one he strike. comes to the plate for the second time today. And there's a foul ball. And now the lefty swings and lines one towards the gap. And there's a hit. Around second is Pena. The throw in. Hung up in a rundown now. Around third. He will score. It's 4-1. Well done. Narrows the deficit with the RBI there. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. One out, runner at second. And now it's Alex Bregman. 0 for 1 so far. Right. Swings and misses. Your one. ball one strike. He swings and fouls one off. And here it comes. Oh, and this struck him out. Now only one out remaining. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball. And I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. We found a way to just get it by him. Hit to right, and that should do it. He's got it. And the Cubs claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year, to see your team win at home, there's just something special about that. Good job by this team to get it done for the hometown fans. 4-1 the final here today. The Cubs go home a winner. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Here now, with our final line for this afternoon, 